Hi, my name is Tim. The past two videos have been about creating tables. Both of those videos had a short section on the auto format dialog. This video is about the auto format dialog. It will cover what is auto formatting, applying formats, and creating a new format for reuse. The IELTS format dialog has several predefined styles that can be applied to a table that you create. The styles are in the format list. And also, you can also add or subtract different aspects of the format. Simply choose from this list and then select or deselect checkboxes to add or subtract the different aspects of the selected style. These are located in the formatting section. The different aspects are number format, font, alignment, borders, and pattern. The dialog also allows you to create your own format style for future tables. To open the aisle format dialog, select the desired table, go up to the table menu, and select aisle format, or the, the item list may also be called aisle format styles. Let's apply one of the styles in the list. There are 17 styles to choose from. Select one of the items in the list. Let's select red. Example of the selection appears in the middle of the dialog. Next, let's look at the checkboxes in the formatting section. Deselecting a checkbox, mean, checkbox means that a particular aspect of the format will not be included in your table. As you can see, deselecting items will remove them from the preview. If you decide you want to include one of these aspects again, simply cl click that che checkbox. When you're done, click the OK button. As you can see, the style has been applied to the, the table. To create a format that can be applied to multiple tables, the first thing you need to do is add formatting to, to, to a table. Change the border and background of your table, select the table, then click the table menu and then select Table Properties. Change the background color here. Then I will change the border style and its width. To change change font, the font, highlight the desired font and use the formatting toolbar. I have slightly changed the formatting to this table. Now it needs to be added to the auto format list. To do this, we need to open the, the aisle format dialog. So, as shown before, click the table menu and click aisle format. With the aisle format dialog box open, click the add button. And another, another dialog box opens with a, a name text box. So I will give this format a name. I'm 
and click the OK button. And as you can see, it's, it is now at the bottom of the format list and it is being shown in the preview section and all the different aspects of format have been assigned to the different checkboxes in the in the formatting section and like like with the other formats if you don't want certain aspects to be um apply applied to your table you can simply do select it such as the font the alignment the border or the uh, background pattern. This video demonstrated how to use IO format and add a new format for reuse. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe to OS College channel box and check out my other videos on YouTube.